The Edible Bean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Hensel Co-op. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Edible Bean School. Today I'm down in Oxford County catching up with uh, Hensel Co-op agronomist Josh Moffat. Josh, how's it going? Uh, it's going great. It's a wonderful morning to look at some edible beans. You bet, you bet. Now, uh, planting's pretty much wrapped up. We've got some great emergence here. What I want to do on this episode is probably get in and out about three or four different edible bean fields and learn some lessons about what, you know, this spring was all about and what we learned about planting edible beans in 2021. Um, Josh, what are we going to see? Well, we're going to first start in a field that was planted in late May. So we're going to take a look at its emergence and how quickly everything came up and how even. And then we're going to go to a field of azuki beans that was planted after cereal rye was harvested for forage. Um, that field was, came up really nice, so we're going to look at a few of the planting aspects there. Um, then we're going to move on to a field that had two inches of rain on it, unfortunately, and it is a kidney field as well. And then we're going to finally move on to a white bean field that had wonderful emergence, was planted just in that first week of June. Awesome ideas, Josh. A little bit of bad and a lot of good. Yeah. Um, hey, let's go for a walk. So we are at our first stop in our early planted field. This field was planted in the end of May, that last week. Now, this field had wonderful emergence. The grower did everything right by waiting for a rain before they, they planted. Um, so the seed went into good soil moisture and in proper depth. So you can plant anywhere from a half inch shallow to all the way to three inches. However, in this case, we were able to get it at the perfect spot at one and a half inches deep. This field has a little bit of variation that you see in these early planted fields. Um, some of these plants are at their first trifoliate, but you do find a few that haven't quite put that first trifoliate out like this one in my hand. So again, since this field was planted near the end of May, we're getting to our 21 day mark. So at this point, we wanna start thinking about a post-emergence herbicide and scouting our field for all the weeds that uh, we may need to spray. So we're in our field number two now. Now I get a lot of questions about if we can plant dry beans after forage or into a cover crop or, or even after the first cut of alfalfa hay. In this case, we planted azuki beans into a field that was a sanding rye field. Now in this case, we're usually worried about soil moisture is one of the issues. Um, sometimes soil moisture is a limiting factor when you have the cereal beforehand pulling all the moisture out. Um, we have to approach fertility a little bit different, tillage a little different, and we have to get the right seeding depth in these fields. So in this field, as you can see, it was worked very well. Everything was incorporated very well on this field. They spent a lot of time making sure everything's level as, as it can be, and then making sure that all the root clumps and all the big pieces like this are broken up and move to the side so we can get a good planting. Now, if you take a look at, at my bean that I have in the ground here, this bean, azuki bean, was put in at a, at a little bit deeper of a depth, a little over two inches, but that was just to make sure that we were getting in the soil moisture. They were a little bit more later planted because we waited for a rain once again, just so we didn't have that as a limiting factor. The azuki bean was a great variety to try this with because it leaves its cotyledons in the ground. The seed here stays in the ground and doesn't come out like a kidney bean or a soybean or something like that. So in this case, it had less it needed to push up through and it was able to come through the ground just perfectly. Now, some growers will ask, should we roll this field? Azuki beans are usually direct harvested. So usually having as flat and smooth and level field as possible is a good idea. So in this case, we might wait till we see one or two trifoliates before we go in and roll this with a roller. This will make sure that everything is level, good for the direct harvesting combine, and also maybe conserve a little bit of soil moisture in the end. We're here in field number three, and not all things always go perfect, and we can learn a lot from that. So in this kidney field here, we had two inches of rain directly after planting. This makes it very difficult for these kidney beans to emerge as they have large cotyledons to push out the ground. It's almost like pulling elephant ears out of the ground. So here, we're watching the emergence come. We can see some big soil crusting. There's a little bit of big boulders coming through and we're watching these kidney beans leaf out underground a little bit. So by leafing out underground, 
they're getting stuck. The cotyledons are almost getting stuck a little bit as they're coming. Now, this field will likely be fine in the end. Um, it looks like we have enough population coming as you look through the row. It's just gonna be a little bit uneven and not necessarily perfect like our last kidney field that we looked at. Again, we're aiming for that population to be up above that 60,000 plants mark, and this one will likely be able to make it to that. Some growers will ask, what can we do? Well, in this case, it's not very crusted. It's not that heavy. They're not that covered in the ground. So you can just leave it in this case and they will come. In a really bad situation where the soil is very crusted, we can bring the rotary hoe into action here. But the best method of all is to not race the rain. We're gonna wrap things up with an example of where everything went right. This is a white bean field here, and the grower waited for a rain, planted in that perfect timing of the first week of June, has an excellent population, good fertility, and good tillage method here. As you can see, our population is about that 100,000 mark with the white beans here and we have excellent emergence. Almost every plant came up at the same time and is sitting at the same stage. So there you have it. This is a field where many things went right. There's good populations. It was planted into moisture. We avoided any pounding rains right after. This field is set up for success. <laughs>